Blog Talk Radio. Hello, this is Spirit Blessings with your host, Lisa Atkinson. Hi, everybody. How are you guys today? I want to really cover something important because I've been uh, thinking about this a lot and just the value of healing, energetic healing and the things that we can do to create more health and joy in our lives. And I want to just walk you through an energy restoration, a little visualization a little bit later. But um, and answer some questions. But first, I just kind of want to teach you something or share with you, in case you don't know about the spiritualist approach. As mediums, we can actually call and receive higher dimensional healing work and energy upliftment and. All kinds of incredible things can happen when we can raise our vibration. What happens is with the energy, we as mediums are conscious of this. We, Most of us are. <laughs> um, in the spiritualist organization, they actually have us do healing before readings, medium readings, connecting with spirits, because I think, actually, in my opinion, it's all healing, if done with that intention, even connecting with, you know, your dead grandfather can be really healing, and also it helps the spirit as well, which is something that I learned when I started to study more about spiritualism, so actually, it it's good for the person who lost their spirit it's good for the spirit and the medium actually gets to be part of this miracle of reconnecting people through the veil and that includes animals and i have to say um animals are amazing and they um and they're just so in tune with far as the spirits go i had one reading where the dog kept barking, and the woman was saying, you know, what, the woman was, had come to me for a reading, and she had lost her husband, and the husband, I was connecting to him in spirit, and he was telling me uh, that the dog kept barking, and this happens a lot with me. The dog had been barking, and I and um, he showed me the toy that he played with the dog with. I said, what is that little spiky ball? And she said, well, that's his toy, and... Um, and I said he's been coming. He's been your husband in spirit has been coming to back to play with the dog, and that's why he's running around barking. And they're just still connecting. So you know nobody told the animals that they couldn't see spirits. So a lot of times they do. Um, you know when it's a loved one's animal. So just to be aware of that, I think I think it helps people to understand what's happening because a lot of times we we don't really understand everything that even our domesticated pets understand with um certain you know energetic um perceptions okay so i just wanted to share that because i think it's really important and by the way if you lost a pet sometimes you can actually feel them because what happens is, you know, you can invite them back once you're over the intensity of the emotion because that will actually block and in human communication as well. Any kind of medium messages will be blocked by intense grief or guilt. A lot of us have guilt when someone passes because, oh, I didn't spend enough time. I didn't. If only I could have, you know, done this and that. But that will block the love from the other side because when they go through that portal and they, and they become their full amazing energy light love creatures that we all are the divine essence again they don't <laughs> honestly i've never had any pet you know say like anything negative they don't they don't associate with the pain anymore because they're not physical i guess but what they come back and share is love. It's like, I love you. Sometimes it's, you know, like 
people will sometimes come back and say, I forgive you, you know, for pulling the plug or, you know, don't worry about it. I was not going to be coming back. It was my time to go and stop carrying the guilt. And now you'll be able to feel my love and see the butterflies and see the signs that I'm leaving. A lot of times spirits will come back and say that. So I just wanted to I just wanted to touch base on that because I just lost my cat and I did feel, I actually felt her a little cold spot on the pillow and um, there have been a lot of little messages around and I just, um, you know, a lot of people call me and say, what do you do when someone you love is dying? And I just want to touch on that for a second and then we're going to move into healing. But uh, calling on the angels or the higher guys that you work with if you're catholic for example you might call on mother mary if you're um you know buddhist buddha you might call on kuan yin kuan yin is amazing um there's so many there's so many helpers you guys we have a lot of resources for support and healing energy and that includes through the process of actually transformation from the physical back to spirit and we are all going to be part of that. It's only natural. So I just want you to know because a lot of us, we just don't have people to talk to about these things. And um, it's not really a big part. It hasn't been a big part of my community upbringing. And so I, I suspect that a lot of people don't really have um, information, a lot of information about this. But so what we do as mediums, we 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 lift our vibration, which means – we raise our frequency. We get out of any kind of those heavier emotions. We try to become less dense in our energy so that we can open up to the higher frequencies where the spirits that have moved on are, the higher spirits. Also, um, you know, it goes all the way up to the angels and then even higher. The um, great spiritual sun is the power source for a lot of mediums was it's called sitting in the power and you can actually um spiritual sun did i say source i think i did but um through just visualizing whatever you see as the most benevolent love light like a big sun just um warming you and filling you with love and peace And that, if you sit in that for a few minutes, (laughs) you know, the stress melts away and there's nothing, you know, there's nothing but peace and health in that that kind of a moment. Um, So one of the major spiritualist healers that I want to tell you about is a really famous spiritualist healer named Harry Edwards. And he wrote some books, one's called The Healing Intelligence, And one's called The Way of Absent Healing. So Harry Edwards did miracles with spiritualist um, healing techniques. And John of God is another one I want to share with you. John of God calls on Padre Pio. He's alive now, so you could actually see him. He, he, He calls on Padre Pio and many other, like, surgeons who are in spirit and other, um, beings to help and it's incredible he, he's developed this whole system where he has people sit like medium as mediums and develop and raise the vibration so um he actually asked me to sit in current it's called sitting in the current and when i went to see him at a um, place in new york he asked me to sit in the current and um that was amazing because a lot of these beings did come really did come in and were helping us as living people, the people that needed various treatments coming through um, energetically to help them to raise their vibration in a way. And sometimes we don't see the physical effects right then. Yeah, maybe you could see somebody get up out of a wheelchair and walk again in that kind of a situation. And I know I met someone who runs tours to Brazil to see John of God, who actually was healed of his blindness by John of God's methods, spiritualist healing. So so I <laughs> and his wife, too, had something else that she was healed of. So I know that it happens, and many, many, there are many stories about that. But I was going to say, even if you don't see the physical symptom go away, 
there are things happening energetically on the soul level that can really help us with things we have no idea um, that are even happening consciously because consciously we are not aware of everything that's happening. So um, a transformation does occur, and sometimes it happens on the energy level. And even if, like, um, you're holding energy and somebody is, you know, 159 years old, (laughs) you know, and um, on really, you know, it's time to go. Um, even if you're holding that energy, it makes their transition smoother because that light, that love energy just creates like a lubricant <laughs> for them to go whoop, and pop right over. And there's no resistance because it's like from love, the love energy you create in the room, to love because you're giving them permission. There's no resistance. And it's a beautiful, beautiful gift if you can call the angels, I like to call the angels, or whatever you believe in that's higher than you, you know, um, that great spiritual sun, whatever it is, if you can set that intention and, like, create that thought form for the person who's dying, then that is um, going to help them with their transition and moving on to, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. I got cut out. Anyway, I'm back, and I wanted to say that what we do in the spiritualist group is quickly before, you know, I can take a couple calls if you have questions, and I want to um, give you my meditation, visualization. But what we do in the spiritualist groups is we actually start our medium readings with healing techniques, and it does bond the group and creates a wonderful tone and energy for the work of mediumship, and it sets a loving um, environment and like a morph- morphogenic field of love through healing each other. So usually you'll go break out into twos. So one person sits and the other person stands. And the person behind, and anyone anyone can do this. You don't have to be a medium. You can, we all have some healing ability as human beings, just gen- like through the DNA and everything. So anyway, you stand behind a person and you put your, you, re, you know, you want to relax yourself. Don't stress. You are not doing this. As a spiritualist healer, you're actually calling on higher beings. And what you're asking to do is be a channel. So you would relax and breathe and stabilize your body physically, planting your feet and just comfortably standing and being present been tuning into the highest love that you can. And a lot of times people will sort of feel up. But maybe, you know, for you it's different. I think it could be different. A lot of people might want to link into the earth and just being present and then getting in touch with that great spiritual sun. Complete warmth and love and acceptance from your creator or the energy of the universe, whatever's got your back, however you want to see it. You know, philosophies differ with people. So you want to connect with that in the present moment and just release any thought of the present, I mean the past or the future. (laughs) Because the present is where the gifts of miracles arise. And so for another person, you would put your hands above their shoulders behind them and call on your healing guides and spirit or higher, you know, if you like Jesus, St. Germain, Mother Mary, the angels, maybe you love the Cherokee healers or you know who your spirit guides are, and those those would be the beings that could really come in and, and support you and work through you as a channel, and that's awesome. And there are so many, oh, my gosh, there's so many supports that you can call on, but so you're going to uh, so you would really do that and kind of step back in your own mind and say uh, this isn't me I'm a channel channel of healing light and love and for animals I love St. Francis St. Francis comes he will come and he will work through you and you don't even have to be like near the person you can actually ask St. Francis to go to someone who's so sick or an animal that's sick or an animal hospital where they're having you know, an operation or where they're getting treatment, you know, St. Francis is really, he's really come through for me. And if you're just doing it for yourself, 
You can do that too, and it really works at night because at night we're not fighting it and we're not conscious and we're not thinking about things. We're um, very relaxed as well. So before you go to sleep, ask your angels and higher guides to embrace you with their healing love and divine flow and just to help you to release what doesn't serve anymore because it's in releasing the conditioned patterns that don't work that we can open up and be free to enjoy our great dreams and destiny in really amazing ways. So if you're doing it for another person, you will feel these energies come in from behind. I have I usually feel them come through, um, step up behind me, and um, sometimes I'll feel it on the back of my neck, and they kind of overshadow. We can feel their hands on our hands. I've felt angel wings around and seen them embrace me and the person I was working on. And I, I call on the angels a lot, so I'm sure that's not a surprise. But you would be surprised at what you could feel. You might feel tingling cold sensation in your hands or tingling hot sensations, and there are any number, tingles in the feet, any number of things that you might feel. But you will feel something, and the energy starts to flow from above, and it brings stress relief. You know, the the, the first um, step toward is um, tightening stress, so even if the person doesn't get anything else out of a spiritual healing, they would be in a relaxed stress reduction space, and that is valuable even just on its own, in my opinion. So energy flows down, and there's, it creates this relaxation. And then as a healer, you as a channel, you know, you're, you, we call ourselves healers doing this, but we're really channels of healing. And we will often see images of the person's illness. Sometimes we'll see images of the energy actually going to a certain part in the body. And that's really fun because you'll say, oh, I saw the light go into your knee. And the person will say, I just had my knee surgery. Or um, one time I, I felt abdominal tingles and I got pins and needles all up and down my spine. And, and I told the woman and she said, that's exactly how I've been feeling. And I and I, I she she has some kind of a nerve damage that and I could feel the actually feel the energy going through her into those places and helping. And so um it's really kind of fun, you know, to see how this how powerful we really are as channels. And so you just act as a channel and then at the end the energy starts to fade a bit. And there's a time where you'll just know that you're done. And for whatever reason, you do want to back off because you can, you know, it, it can be too much. Sometimes it can be a slow process to give little little bits of healing. And so when you feel like the time is right, um, just, you know, kind of softly whisper a blessing, like be at peace and then step away. And... Sometimes people will get up crying and just want to hug you because <laughs> it feels like heaven. It really feels like heaven. And I, I just wanted to share that with you because I love the spiritualist healing. I love that. That's really wonderful. And I'm going to start doing more healing tools and methods with you guys because um, I appreciate it so much. And it's helped me a lot, and I want to share that, okay? Um, if you do it on a pet, like I said, you can do it with your hands, but they seem to be more sensitive, and um, they will walk away when they've had enough. And um, some, like when you first do it, you'll notice they'll look at you and go, "Whoa!" <laughs> like um, they're they're probably going to be surprised that this is happening because they can probably see more than we can. But um, like I said, if they have had enough usually they'll get up and walk away or they might you know make some kind of a sound and let you know they'll let you know and then and then it's time to go so respect your pet too you know when when they don't want any more energy and then maybe come back another day so that is the spiritualist healing technique um 
I'm going to take a question, and then I'm going to go out because we don't have a lot of time. But I'm just going to uh, take this caller, and then I'm going to go out with an energy visualization that I did for you to help with restoration, relaxation. It's about eight minutes long, and that will be the end of the show. I hope you really enjoy it and bless you, and I want every ascended master and angel to come and be with you right now in whatever capacity will, that will uplift you, whatever's going on with you, and that's my wish for you and my blessing. So with this meditation, thank you for listening. So hi, I have a caller, area code 248. What's your name? Hi, my name is Rose. Hi, Rose. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Um, I, I I tried to do the healing as you were saying it to my dog, and he didn't seem to react in any way, shape, or form. But um, to your dog? He, yes. He, yeah. He got really bad hips. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. You know what? Don't don't decide that it didn't work. Like I was saying, we can't always see the physical effect but there are things going on energetically and unless you're clairvoyant you know you might not see everything that's happening so anytime you're sending love you're opening up some relaxation space and yeah i mean i hope hope you went to the vet too <laughs> um I, I can't afford to do anything with his hips um basically oh just... okay hmm well, I want to suggest that you um, contact a friend of mine, okay? Because she's um, she's a Reiki she'll, she's a Reiki master, and she might be able to um, help support you because she does get, do a lot of adoptions and like fundraiser kind of things for animals. And her name's Lisa Larson, and she's at Spirit Cat with two A's dot com, and she's on Facebook. She also has a website called Pause. P A W S talk I think dot com and she might be able to help too. Okay. And that because, person was Yeah. Spirit Cat. Yeah, with two A's. And it was Spirit Cat at what dot com? Um, it's just spiritcat.com. dot com. That this that's her website. Oh, okay. So you can, I know that she has an email, or I think she has a, actually you can call her. She has a phone number. Okay. And just tell her I, <laughs> tell her I told you um, that I thought she might be able to support you in some way. In some way, you know, I don't know what she's going to do, but maybe she can hook you up with someone or um, you guys can talk about where you live and everything, um, where maybe she knows someone in your area. I don't know. Okay. But I'll she's yeah, she's she'll be good to uh, connect with the doc. You know, I don't know what she can do. She might, you know, I don't know like what her schedule is like. But anyway, I would really like it if you contact her. And um, don't stop. You know, I know it. I know there are other things. There are probably other things. You know, that could be done, right? But like with a vet. Right. But <clears throat> but. These um, spiritualist healing energies really help. And even if a, an animal's in pain, the energy will uplift them and make them feel better. So gotcha. that, right, that helps a lot. Oh yeah. And there's yeah. it, what it reminds them. It actually reminds them of who they are. That they are more than the physical body, and they get more in touch with that and less in touch with the pain of the body, the pain body. That I've, I actually just saw that with my own cat. I saw that happen. And I was amazed. I have to tell you, <laughs> I thought that was incredible, really. Yeah, animals, they, they they have amazing power. They do, and they are so inspiring. I just love them. Oh, yeah. And do you have, mm-hmm. are you in touch with your spirit guides? You you said your guide, you felt, wait, no, what did you say? Are you using, are you asking, like, for guides or angels to come in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I basically, I, I've been praying for a year 
for this dog's paws, but I mean, for his, for his hips to be healed. <laughs> there he but, is. Actually, no, that's my aggressor, the one that bites me on a regular basis. Oh, no, you need some support <laughs> over there. <laughs> the other one's like, no, no. That's fine. Yeah, the other one. The other one is a huge dog, and he would like to chew this one, but he runs away in fear when he's around the the other one. So we have them separated in different areas of the house. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. (laughs) Okay. And you know what? Um, That other dog would probably like to communicate with you as well. So tell tell Lisa, you know, in your email or how, if you talk to her, call her and tell her, like, that you have the two dogs. And you have a problem with the other dog and all that. Okay? Will do. All righty. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for calling, and God bless you and and your animals. I'm going to ask St. Francis to be with you, too. (laughs) Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Good luck. Okay. So let's go out. It's going to go a little bit past the um, 30-minute line, but here is a little energy restoration for you. I hope. Again, that it helps uplift anything, you know, wherever you're at. Okay? Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me today. Bless you. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Take another deep breath. Breathe into the heart center. Breathe in white light and feel your lungs. Feel the heart center. Expanding deeply, breathe in white light, breathe all the way down into your bottom, exhale, breathe in deeply all the way down to your feet now, exhale, white light, breathe in the white light, feel it in all of your cells, up your head, Exhale the white light. Breathe from the heart, from the lungs, deep into the belly. And now breathe into a ball or a pool of light in front of you. Breathe deeply into the heart and belly and out in front of you into a ball of light. Let this light glow and pulse. Let it sparkle and glisten with divine healing energy from the heart center. Let it embrace your entire body so that you sit in this light like a cocoon of healing energy underneath your toes, all the way up your legs, up your spine, up your shoulders, down your arms, all the way up your head, over your face, down the front of your body, to your toes again, all the way up the sides of your body, and down the front and the back of your body, crossing over, making figure eights all around you. Sit in this white light, and now I'd like you to See this ball in front of you, in front of your heart, with the white light glistening. Breathe into that and create an even larger sphere of energy, light, healing pool of light. Breathe through your heart, in the white light and out. In front of you, create this pool of light. And now you can place yourself or anyone that you want to anyone else or a place on the earth just put whatever person you feel could use some healing energy an animal an animal or a place that could use healing energy see that inside of this healing light pool in front of your heart chakra See all the lights, little tiny microcosmic lights now, embracing this person or place or yourself 
inside of this pool of light in the heart centered light and all of the atoms of light are recharging this whole pool and everything in the pool clearing out anything that no longer serves releasing anything purifying, detoxifying regenerating hold this light and breathe deeply into it breathe in the white light and deep into your belly out into the pool in front of you In the white light, deep into your belly, out into the pool in front of you. Now, see the golden light coming in, the golden shimmering light, this golden creator energy coming in to restore everything around you. As you shimmer in this light, you're feeling restored and strong, completely supported. And just sit breathing this light if you'd like to. And if you're ready to come back, just release all attachments to outcomes. Release all expectations you might have of yourself or anyone else or anyone else has of you. Feel the joining of hearts around the planet. Feel the joining of the hearts of everyone that loves you and who you love. Feel this healing energy cleansing every relationship and every thought you're having. Feel the light. Breathe in the light. Breathe out the light. You're sitting in golden white light. Rainbow lights all around you are starting to blossom through. Little rainbows are feeding every light in your body. And the sphere in front of you. And just breathe it all the way down underneath your feet and into the earth, Mother Earth. Feel that connection with the roots of all the plants around you. Everything in your neighborhood, in your town, anywhere around you. If you're on the ocean, feel the roots of the seaweed going into the earth, deep into the earth, into those pockets of nutrients of Mother Earth now. And wiggle your toes as you bring that energy into your body and feel your own body connected to the roots of all the plants and the energies that support you. Breathe it in up through your legs and your torso and your head all around the top of your head. And just imagine this light above your head connecting with the starlight, the sunlight and the moonlight. And breathe in deeply, golden rainbow light, white light some silver light, starlight, moonlight, ah, out, exhale, healing energy all around you, filling your space and your room up with healing light, breathe in this healing energy and out, take a few more deep breaths and wiggle your fingers, open your eyes, Maybe stomp your feet or rub the bottoms of your feet. And now you're restored, refreshed, and reinvigorated. 